What is going on guys? So today, I want to make a video uh, about this because, um, so recently The Walking Dead ended, season finale, if you watched that, oh my god, it was awesome. Uh, quick comment, Rick's fucking crazy, I love him, he's crazy, and I want to, and I think his friend's gonna like, get so pissed after that, uh, after what he did to, um, what's her face his husband but so getting back to this um if you know payday it's a pretty good uh shooter uh i've played it a couple times it's not exactly all my forte but i i like it um but so <laughs> this one automatically caught my eye just scrolling through polygon's new uh news articles for today uh payday 2 publishers team up with overkill <laughs> for a walking dead shooter uh so i don't know necessarily if this means fps it could be a third person because both of them are technically shooters but so read through this there's not a lot of information on this as you can see but try to get as much and then analyze it um the console versions of overkills the walking dead will be published by 505 games the same company that the publisher that uh develops online co-op shooter payday 2 the two companies announced today the the, the two companies announced today overkills the walking dead is coming to playstation 4 xbox one and windows pc 505 confirmed the company also said that overkill is working with the walking dead series creator robert kirkman to create new characters plots story arcs and will live in the ever expansive world of the walking dead novel series okay this will be cool um I, I love the Telltale's Walking Dead. It's one of my favorite games. Um, oh, oh my god. Lee dying? That was so... Oh, spoiler. Oh, okay. I'm sorry that I spoiled like a couple year old game. Um, but so... What happens to Lee at the end? I should say. Um, oh my god. They built that up and they tore me down so fast. It... So that had such good writing. It didn't have a lot of action in it, but it, I mean, you could say action. You had to. It was a lot of like quick time event type things, not button mashing quick time events, but like click over here and you have to you have to look around for the axe and then beat the zombie's head in so he doesn't eat anybody. But so to have, to, but so it had cinematic shots, and that's what helped create this like immersive world. Aha, I don't know how you're gonna really create an immersive world in like an FPS or even a third person shooter. You create, all right, so yes, you can use the example, Last of Us, oh my God, they created a zombie world that was so immersive and it got, got you all the feels. And what, and the Last of Us is, is my favorite, if not in the top three of my favorite games ever. Um, so yes, I can understand where you come from there, but like, I don't know. And just the, besides Telltale's, all the other Walking Dead games sort of have been mediocre or they basically been shit or mediocre at best. So I, I'm just, I'm by, I'm, I'm going to be really, I'm going to hold back on this until I can see some reviews. Uh, and it's just, it's just sort of try to get a good understanding of what this is if it's an fps i don't know maybe it's cool they make it something like skyrim where it's a huge world you make the whole united states maybe hard but like um racing game escaping me right now but uh so they basically made the u.s and they didn't make it the whole u.s but they made it made some major cities and stuff so you make a bunch of major cities and you can go around there it's sort of like date like a daisy style but first person so i should say it's like um not daisy what is it it's like it's some one by that like sony helped do oh shit oh shit but so yeah um kirkman said uh at sxsw last month that the new walking dead shooter will build upon overkill's experience with payday okay seems cool um oh and like robbing the bank that was awesome so you do sort of a raid style like you bring uh rainbow six siege 
and you sort of like do a Walking Dead twist, like when they, when if you ever see the Walking Dead where they go into the house and like break in and stuff, that would actually be really cool. And but so then you have like the ex exploration parts like Daisy, but you have those like house raiding parts and like scavenging for stuff because you never really seen the show too much them scavenging for stuff but that would be cool i can say that it will be payday-esque because star breeze and overkill are currently doing payday kirkman said but i am told it will be it will be in a bigger world than payday currently encompasses they are going to be learning a lot of stuff from payday that they will be incorporating into the walking dead game overkills the walking dead game was announced last summer it, as an online co-op first series, first person okay yeah so it is a first person shooter with an expected release coming sometime in june sometime in 2006 i don't know i said june <laughs> actually i do because there's another game that was announced to release in june that i may cover soon but so this seems awesome i like to see it the fact that they said it's gonna have a big world or at least bigger than payday I really like the sound of that. Just a big Skyrim-esque world, and you just going around. That would that would be awesome. Um, even if you have like the dialogue and the story sort of shit. If you have the core gameplay, I'm not into the Skyrim story too much. I'm into the gameplay. I like playing that. Same type thing. If you do that, it, it seems like it will be a great game. Um, but so. Other than that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to keep updated with the videos I make, subscribe and you'll get updated when I make a new video. Uh, and just if you leave a like, it really helps out. Um, but other than that, uh, peace.